this led to the creation of this soon-to-be-launched Philippine Climate Extremes Report 2020, and that contains all of the projected changes in temperature and rainfall extremes. So we have the CLIRAM tool, and now we're introducing a CERAM tool, which is the Climate Extremes Assessment Matrix that the LGUs can use for their development planning. While we have a number of climate change advertisement measures already available, we need to act smartly on this. We need to use them. Hindi lang sa nasa publication or nasa uh, aparador or sa cabinet. So we need to use them to develop what we refer to as the integrated plans and policies. They help us, they invest here in order for us to sequester the carbon for them. Sa atin naman, ganansya tayo kasi madami isda, may, mayroong pagkain, mayroong trabaho ang fisher, may added protection sa storm surge, diba? so win-win siya. What we saw in the pandemic is like a foretaste of what could happen in a full-blown climate crisis in terms of macroeconomic research. Now we have more evidence to say that resilience to climate change has to go beyond simply GDP growth. methodology of water buffering. When you say water buffering, yung pag stack ng tubig. To address yung uh, problem natin, uh, uh, most of us are facing in the face of climate change, yung scarcity of water, lalo na pag panahon ng uh, dry season. So it's a powerful approach to cope with the increasing uncertainty in water availability due to climate change. Tapos, dagdagan pa natin yung population natin dumadami and land degradation. then allowed people to take more control over their own resources and look at water resources in a very positive way. It's also very empowering to them when they're the ones doing all their policies, their guidelines, and they're the ones mobilizing each other. The aim of the uh, very short study is uh, looking at collection of localized information on sea level rise, sea surface temperature, as well as ocean acidification as a way of validating no, yung mga generated information and projections made in the basis of satellite observations. No? So again, using uh, localized data gathered through actual uh, site ground uh, measurements. Engagement of LGUs and local communities in the conduct of local-based research is an effective approach to gain a really local participation. No? Dapat magkaroon tayo ng continuing technical support, particularly in partnership with the academy, with the local governments and uh, research and development agencies. Policy response in these two new normals, we believe, would be threefold. So, nandiyan yung health, 
nandiyan yung economic recovery, yung short term. But definitely, we have to always include yung long-term resilience to different types of crisis. Um, finally, we urge the local governments, not just in Bulacan, but everywhere else, to try to help you know, build um, a local economy that is more resilient. We must note and highlight climate change is not only an environmental issue that needs environmental solutions, but more importantly, it is an extremely complex development concern. As we have heard in this webinar, the ground is fertile for more potential contributions from local experiences that we can elevate to regional and international arena of climate action.